It is very strange to find the class today with no students as usual. Do you know where are your classmates your back car? The school administration took them and divided them into three groups. One is to collect garbage from the playground and the second is to clean the school's restrooms, and the third is to sell food in the school's canteen. It is absolutely a wrong decision. They should have a fourth group to do beds and dishes in the entire neighborhood. You know what? I am really, really tired from the misconduct of this administration and I am done. But, but why did they leave you alone in the class? Yeah, yeah, you back car? It may be for the reason of answering your earlier questions or, or, or because I like to get educated. Because you like to be educated, I will deliver my lecture solely for you. Today, I am going to talk about the transfers between categories of debt securities. First of all, transfers between categories are account for a transfer date fair value. Because the transfer date fair value is used, unrealized holding gains and losses result. How unrealized gains or losses upon transfer between categories of debt securities are treated? Excellent question at back car. The treatment of unrealized gains or losses at the transfer date are described as follows. 1. For transfers from trading securities to held to maturity or available for sale securities, amounts already recognized in earnings income statement are not reversed. 2. For transfers from held to maturity or available for sale securities to trading securities, the opposite of one above, amounts not already recognized in earnings are recognized in earnings income statement. 3. For transfers from available for sale securities to held to maturity securities, Amounts recognized in other comprehensive income are not reversed but are amortized in the same way as premium and discount. In this connection, fair value accounting may result in recognition of a premium or discount when a debt security is transferred to held to maturity category. 4. For transfers from held to maturity securities to available for sale securities, any unrealized gains or losses on the date of transfer should be reported in the accumulated other comprehensive income. Apart from the four treatments above, Transfers from held to maturity securities to trading securities should be rare. That is all about it. Thank you.